Welcome back to the top news channel RF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Big win, VDL panics with UK success, a new freedom begins. This morning, the UK's first post-Brexit free port opened, bringing tax benefits aplenty to the region, according to a press release. According to one source, located on 4,500 acres, Teesside expects the new economic zone to bring in £3.2 billion in revenue and generate more than 18,000 new employment. Teesside would be in the vanguard of renewable energy, manufacturing and innovation, as a result of the development, the government stated. A multi-million pound investment from GE Renewables has already been secured to establish a new offshore wind blade manufacturing factory, which is expected to create up to 750 manufacturing jobs and another 1,500 jobs in the supply chain. Some comments said, CPTTP, eight free ports, a win-win scenario, invisible yo blinkered labor trolls and frontbenchers alike. Brexit delivering new jobs, lower tax regime, new build, green tech, import and export capacity, leveling up, proving project fear wrong, yet again. Anyone unsure about how to vote next election, look to the negative comments from the anti-British traitors, both domestic and foreign, trying to undermine this country. Choose your tribe carefully. Many other comments from Twitter users said that, the EU sources of income include, contributions from member countries, import duties on products from outside the EU, a new contribution based on non-recycled plastic packaging waste, and fines imposed when businesses fail to comply with EU rules. Customs duties arise from commercial and trade policies. They are levied on imports of products from non-EU countries, at rates determined in the common customs tariff. On the other hand, member states will retain 25% of the collected customs duties this is to cover the costs of collection, while the EU Commission gets 75%. So yes if you are a member state you pay your customs duties to the EU Commission. The VAT-based own resource is a source of EU revenue based on the proportion of VAT levied in each member country, VAT rates and exemptions vary in different countries, so a formula is used to create the so-called harmonized VAT base, upon which the EU charge is levied. The starting point for calculations is the total VAT raised in a country. This is then adjusted using a weighted average rate of VAT rates applying in that country, producing the intermediate tax base. Further adjustments are made where there is a derogation from the VAT directive that allows certain goods to be exempt. The tax base is capped, such that it may not be greater than 50% of a member state's gross national income, GNI. So yes if you are a member state you pay your VAT receipts to the EU Commission. According to a recent announcement, businesses would not be barred from entering markets that have signed free trade agreements with the United States, the administration said. They will profit from both our free trade policy and from free ports, which provide tax incentives, simplified planning constraints, and lower import prices. We now have the flexibility to do things differently, including building up new free ports to turbocharge our commerce with the world's fastest growing markets, Minister of State Lord Frost said. Having left the European Union. In light of today's statement, we can see that we are taking advantage of Brexit to generate high-paying employment and boost the economy throughout the country. Along with new free ports, we want to move farther and quicker to build a competitive, regulatory environment that fosters innovation and encourages inward investment, he said. 